one. Hey traders, Sean Lucas here. So good to be with you this afternoon. Um, we're going to talk a little bit today about candlesticks. And you know, sometimes candlesticks give us a wrong impression. You know, we're sitting there trading, we're looking at the, how the candles are forming and, and uh, we get this nice big bullish candle and then all of a sudden everything goes backwards and doesn't seem to, it doesn't seem to fit what happens after that big candle. And so sometimes, you know, what we see in a candlestick doesn't actually, isn't actually representative of what's really happening in the market. And so we're going to talk a little bit about that, you know, kind of discuss a few ways that we can uh, maybe identify if a can't where when a candlestick isn't going to be quite honest with us and and try and get a, a little bit better insight as to what's really happening uh, when we look at those candlesticks on the on the chart. So great to be with you. Uh, we I am so glad that uh, it is September. <laughs> it made all the difference in the world. Uh, we we started out the uh, last month in kind of the middle of G July, the summer doldrums, and and it was awful. In fact, uh, um, the month of August was one of the least volatile months we've had in a really long time. So uh, the volatility and the movement in the market picked up nicely here at the first week in September. And uh, really happy that that's happening. It's uh, it gives us an opportunity to make a little bit of money in the in the market. Uh, for those of you who are in Idaho, pay attention. We are going to be doing a trader on the street in Idaho next week on September 11th. So we're excited about that. We're going to be in Idaho Falls um, and uh, looking forward to doing some trading there by the river and and by the falls and and hopefully. Uh, hopefully make someone a little bit of money in the process and, and uh, hopefully learn a, learn a, thing, a thing or two about trading um, while we're at it. So check your calendars if you're up in the Idaho area or if you'd like to come visit us, uh, check out the uh, traderonthestreet.com and uh, register, let us know that you're coming and that way we can send you updates where we're at exactly. You know, we're out on the street, literally. We're out, out in public domain and and so sometimes we have to move or where we think we can set up, we, we can't actually set up. So we, we end up having to make some adjustments. So make sure you register and then we'll let you know, you know all of the updates where we're at. Let's talk about candlesticks here for a minute. Um, so if you look at the, uh, at the chart here, um, you know, I basically drew three, three bullish candles. And, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a close look at uh, how this candle forms. It, and most of you would agree that, you know, that's a pretty positive candle. It's a pretty bullish candle. It's got a little bit of a wick on the top side, but pretty good, pretty good tail on the, on the downside. But it's, it's a solid bullish candle. So how do we know if that candle is really bullish or whether it's just hiding something underneath? You know, I think about uh, when I look at a candlestick, what you're looking at, you're looking at the end of a book, right? You're, 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 you're seeing everything that's happened from the start of that book to the end of that book. And you're just seeing the two book covers. You're seeing the start and the begin and the end. Um, but what you're really missing is all the good plot and twists and, and storyline in between when you look at that candle. Because that candle is just giving you the start, the finish. It gives you the highs and the lows. But, but really, it's just kind of the bookends of what's happened during that, that time frame. So you could have a candle that looks, you know, that ha that forms something like this, where you've got a start, an open, right? And you've got a close over here. And in between, you know that you hit a high point up here and a low point down here. But what happens in between is anyone's guess. You could have a market that comes down like that, rallies up like that, comes back down, rallies up, falls back down, rallies up, and falls back down, and closes, right? So if you look at how that candle formed, that you're starting to see a very different picture of what's happening in that market, right? You may, get, you may be all bullish if you're just looking at the green candle because that's a really strong bullish candle, but if you drop down and you look at how that candle actually forms, it's telling you something very different. 
Or you may have, you know, some the, the price action may have formed like this. It may have come all the way up, all the way back down, all the way back up. So that's another, the variations of how that candle form are innumerable. I mean, you could have a, an infinite number of variations on that. So what you need to do when you're trading is you need to either watch how that candle forms or you, either, you can drop down to a lower time frame and see how that candle forms on a lower time frame. So one of the first things that I do when I'm, when I'm trading is I look at where that candle fits in the bigger scheme of the pattern or the, the trading range or the trend. So if a trade happens, or if that candle, if this candle happens or forms at the beginning of a trend, you just got a reversal, the market's starting to move in a, in a strong bullish direction, and you get that candle, then chances are pretty good if it's in the early stages of a trend that that's a, that's a truthful candle. It's not lying to us, it's probably pretty strong. But if that candle happens at the end or towards the overextended end of a range or a trend, so it's happening at the, towards the end of a trend, then I might be a little bit suspect of that candle. And I might want to drop down to a lower time frame and, see, and get a little bit more clarity as to how that candle actually formed. Um, and that way I'm not snookered into a trade. I'm not saying, oh, this is a good thing, and then all of a sudden everything turns bad real fast on you. So one of the first tricks, one of the first uh, rules when you're, when you're really evaluating whether a candle is truthful and, or not is to drop down or, or to see, number one, see where that candle fits in the bigger range. Uh, number two, drop down to a lower time frame to get a little bit more clarity on how that candle forms. And then number three is to look at the patterns that form on that lower time frame. So sort of the pattern within the pattern. You've got a bullish candle pattern. What is the pattern that formed that candle? And is there room for some doubt as to whether that candle is truthful? So let's, let's go through a couple of examples. You've got the opening of a candle right here. Let's say that this candle right here, we're going to evaluate that candle. So what we'll do is we'll drop down to a lower time frame and see how that candle forms. We see something like this. There it just puts in the, uh, it just put in the low. Finds a little bit of, of support, comes back down. Test that low again, and then it's off to the races. So now this is all, all everything we're looking at is all contained within that candle. So it rallies up, puts in the high up here, comes back down. So pulls back, so this is the high point. So that's that point right there. This is the low point. These are the two low points here. And it's pulled back and then it's just reversing. And that is our stopping point right there. So this candle, if we looked at it on, or all of this trading that happened right in here, if we looked at it on a higher time frame, that candle on the higher time frame would look just like this. So is this a bullish? or a bearish pattern within the bigger pattern. Well, clearly you've got a nice breakout out of a support level and you're in a pullback and you're in a reversal. And the candle closes right there. So the chances are pretty good that that's a, that's a truthful candle. That, you know, there's probably going to be some follow through bullish pattern or bullish price action moving forward. Okay, so now let's look at another example. Let's, let's say this is our low, this is our open, this is the high, and this is the close. Okay, so we open up here. 
We get a little bit of bullish action. A big candle down. Something like that, right? Followed by a grind up. I love drying markets. <laughs> if it could only be so easy. A little grind up. A little bit of a pullback. Another test of the high. Another pullback. And a close. So again, the, if, if you took this pattern that we're looking at right here, if you took that pattern, it would look just like that pattern. It would look just like that. All of those, both of those patterns would look just like that same candle on a lower time frame. And, but now you've got a triple top and you've got a reversal coming off that triple top. Oops, got a reversal there. And so now this is giving you a very different picture of what's happening on, with that candle. So now I would say that this is kind of a lying candle, right? Because, because, the, uh, because the pattern that we're seeing within the, the bullish candle is, a, is more of a negative pattern. There's a pretty good chance, especially given this big drop, you've got this nice, strong, bearish candle. So there's some, so there's some real solid sellers lurking in the market here and you've got a triple top and all it's going to need to do is break that uh, break that line right there and chances are pretty good you're going to have a, a down some downward pressure on that on that market so i guess in in short the uh, the the candlesticks are good They're, they they do a good job like abbreviating market price action and for the most part you can you know if a candle forms in if a candle forms on a chart, for the most part, you can use the typical candle patterns that you, you read about in Steve Neeson's book or you know whatever. You can use those and you can trust and rely on them. But there are those times when those candles may not be telling the full extent of what's happening in the market. And uh, you need to know when those, those type of you need to know, number one, you need to know how that candle forms if you really want to get the, the clear details. You want to get the plot. You want to get the storyline of the market. Then you look down at a lower time frame. You get a little bit better picture of how that market forms, and you start looking for the patterns inside the patterns. Are there signs of weakness? Are there signs of strength? And, and you start to approach the market a little bit differently that way. Hopefully that makes sense. I think, uh, I think intuitively, if you if you stop and, and think about it, I think you'll you'll discover, hey, this is this is some good stuff. This is, uh, you know, sort of the 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 hidden the hidden meaning, the hidden message in each of these candles, um, and it's nice to know that when you're trading. Any rate, let me uh, take a let me wrap up. I'm I'm going to take a look at some of these questions real quick and answer a few of them and see if we can uh, get. Uh, Let's see. <clears throat> oh, Elite Money Solution. Anyone who's not a member of the Apiary Fund should totally join. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you so much, Elite. We appreciate that that uh, plug for us. We're we've we've got the best group of traders in the world. No no questions asked. We we love our traders. They're uh, they're fantastic, and they they help each other a ton. And uh, great instructors. Any other questions? <clears throat> I guess there's no questions. We did okay, huh? Let me look back here. Any other questions? No, nope, I guess we did a good a good job. Well, hey, okay, let's uh, let's just recap real quick. Let me put a couple of rules down for us. Number one, uh, evaluate where the candle is. in market structure. My handwriting's terrible. 
So what I mean by that is if there, there are certain places in market structure, i.e., you know, if you're up towards the end of a trend, that's where you're going to see more lying candles, more deceptive candles. Uh, if you're down here in the early stage of, a, of market structure, you're not going to see as many lying candles. Those will be pretty solid. They'll pre be pretty straightforward candles. So the first thing to do is know where the lying candles will, will pop up. You got to know that. And then once you, once you sus have a suspicion that a candle isn't telling you all the truth, then number two is to drop down to lower time frames. For more clarity. So sometimes you can just drop down to a, a lower time frame and you get a very different picture of what's happening on, in pre with price action. So sometimes just looking at that smaller time frame chart is all you need to get, to get uh, a better picture of what's happening. And then the third step is to look for patterns within patterns. So looking in this case, we looked at a double top or a triple top forming. Uh, we saw a couple of reversal examples. So we look for those patterns and, and the market structure on that lower time frame to give us a better, a better clue, a better idea as to what to, how to resolve whether that candle is actually telling us the truth or not. So there you have it, folks. Uh, so great to be with you. Uh, today and hopefully these are these little uh, you know 15 20 minute uh, YouTube live presentations or something that uh, will help you in your trading uh, we look forward to next Tuesday if you're in the Idaho area come check us out come join us in uh, a trader on the street don't know who I'm trading with yet so um, so if you're in the Idaho area definitely contact us and let us know you're going to be around and and uh, let let us know you'd like to trade, and you know who knows you may be, we may be trading with you. So, any rate, uh, there we go. Thanks, traders. We are so grateful for uh, all your your support, and uh, and look forward to continued success in our trading. Happy trading, everybody. We'll see you.